welcome friends to another edition of Tiffin Cast. I'm your host Seishu and this is yet another Inspire Photo Retreats co-sponsored uh, interview with presenters Ashley and Graham Scobie, uh, photographers, wedding photographers based in Atlanta and uh, these guys are, have actually been in Connecticut right around the corner from where I lived but I never met them before and so this is uh, quite a cool surprise for me and I'm really honored to meet you guys here. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks a lot. Um, one of the things I think I'm going to embarrass you with is this very small little tidbit that, uh, that I found. Uh, it says, Rangefinder has named you as one of 30 rising stars uh, of wedding photography. How, how does that make you guys feel? <laughs> Come on, uh, be honest. Little, uh, that's little pretty cool. surreal, um, little uh, undeserving of, you know, that type of... of strong language but very appreciative very at the same, language, same, yeah. <laughs> same time yeah there are a lot of incredibly talented people in this industry so it gives us a little um a little push to keep at it and keep keep trying for sure yeah you know one of the things i read in the rangefinder blurb about you guys is your core at your core you're about documenting love documenting people in love and and that seems like uh that, that should be sort of a universal theme among wedding photographers, but yet you do it so well. I mean, Abby, that's probably why you've actually been chosen, right? I mean, clearly. <laughs> one, one, right? Um, I was just going to say, yeah, I mean, we, we believe in people and we believe in relationships, and so that's really at the core of, of everything that we do. And, um, you know, it's cool that that, that comes across to people and, um, you know, that they recognize that. Excellent. One of the things I think I want to ask you uh, is – is how do you recognize clients who re resonate with that? What, do, what is it that you guys do? It's either the marketing or the, the client pre-consult, whatever. What is it that, that says, this is my client, and the client says, this is my photographer? Yeah, that's a great question. We try from pretty much the inception of that client relationship to put who we are out there. We're not buttoned up. We're not super professional people. We're very casual. We believe in relationships at their very core, which is pretty basic. Um, we're not fancy <laughs> at all. So we don't, we don't try and be those things. And we find that people who, um, who get that come to us and they're okay with that. They're like, Oh, these people are not going to be super fancy pants at our wedding. That's, that's okay. That's good. We like their style. We like casual and, yeah. um, kind of allows us to really latch onto that, those types of people. Yeah, so if you land on our website, you, you would notice that it's not um, it's not a formal website. It's not typical. Um, it's just kind of a reflection of who we are. We're kind of, uh, I don't know, loose. You know, our, our lines are kind of, they're not straight. They're, um, we're, we're kind of messy line people <laughs> and that that that's what our website kind of looks like so <laughs> <laughs> okay all right well i will post a link to your website for sure i think people need to see the kind of work that you you do uh from what i have seen though my god your your work is just jaw-droppingly gorgeous uh oh, and you. and uh not just that i mean there's lots of gorgeous pictures all over the world <laughs> Oh, and look at that. Sorry. <laughs> That's quite okay. Dogs this are welcome. Is, yeah, this is the third member this of our team. This is our mascot. No worries, no worries. Uh, I've had cats r run right across my screen sometimes. So <laughs> it's, it's like I'm, anything, is, anything is game. Um, one of the things I think that, that differentiates your work, I, I feel, is just the way people seem to be interacting with each other in the frame. Uh, and there's one picture of, of a bride looking at something that she's reading and she's she's crying you know she's in happiness i'm assuming right i mean that sort of that sort of moment uh is something that you're sort of geared to to capture uh does that come from sort of just watching people or is it is, is it something else yeah it's a lot of um knowing what to anticipate and a lot of being able to read people and i think probably empathize would be a good word with people just to kind of know what they're going through when they're reading those letters or seeing their father for the first time or their groom to be for the first time or what have you. Um, and I would say the other part of that for us personally is that we try and be really unobtrusive. We try and be as much as we can sort of flies on the wall because we feel like if people don't, if they're not focused on us, if they don't know that we're there, if they can forget mm -hmm. that they're being documented, mm -hmm. that they can really be who they are. And Lovely. that's when people 
are free to to cry or you know be really joyful and not worry about how big their smile is or um, how loud their laugh is or anything like that. Lovely. Would you consider yourself wedding photojournalist then? Is that a term that you just sort of yeah embrace or shy away from? What do you, what yeah, do you that's a good question. And sometimes, a little bit of both. Sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes our clients ask us, you know, yeah. are you wedding for photojournalists? And we, we always tell them we're somewhere on the continu continuum from like portrait artists to, to photojournalists. Um, but really, we don't we don't focus on on that and on like a theory of uh, of photography. It's more um, we focus on the the relationships that are in the room and the people that are in the room. And some people are cheese it up for the camera type people, and some people are very quiet and reserved. And we want to be able to um, to show that for both in both instances in both cases. So. Awesome. Let's uh, sort of go to second base here and try and talk a little bit about your presentation. Uh, you are going to be presenting at the Inspire Photo Retreats uh, convention conference coming up uh, in, in February of 2015. It's exciting. Uh, I know I'll be there in, you know, in, in February. It's going to be cold. It's going to be awesome. Uh, yes. But, hey, it's, it's a, we're all going to be good together, and it's going to be always, as always, a, a very good vibe. Uh, you've presented there before. Uh, you were there last year, and I missed you for some reason. This coming year, you're going to be speaking about what? Yeah, we're going to be talking this year about how to fail faster. So Whoa. we have found because <laughs> we failure is a good thing. We are we are embracing failure as human beings. That's like the the theme of our lives for the past couple of years. Yeah, give me an example. Yeah, so. Um, an example of what example we're talking about? Or? Yeah, example of something where you failed at something and you've embraced it and you boom past it. What is yeah. it that 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 have that has made you say, okay, we can really we can really stand up and talk about this? Yeah, um, it's it's easier to tell you what we've succeeded at than it would be for to tell you all the things we've failed at. Sure. Um, we, we run our business uh, in a very uh, fail-friendly way. <laughs> and so um, we run experiments. We try new things. Um, I think the, the place that we fail in the most is actually uh, our work. When, when, we, when we try and accomplish um, something uh, that's in our head, we try and get that into you know, the sensor of our camera. Um, I, I fail all the time trying to, to, to execute on ideas. Uh, and at first that was like really a, a bummer, right? That was, um, and, and I, uh, I was afraid of, of failing. Uh, and I still am. I think everybody, I think there's a natural, um, and probably a healthy fear of failure right. uh, to some degree, but, um, and nobody wants to fail. Right. Yeah. No, nobody says I'm going to, I want to fail today, but <laughs> right. But every time we pick up a camera and I come from a photojournalism background, uh, there's always that, you know, uh, nine out of ten chances that you're not going to get the the image, and the tenth exactly. time you're going to get the image, and yeah. voila, you've got it, you know, and it, you move on. Exactly, and sometimes it's even a happy accident. It's it's trying something, beating your head against something, and then something different happens. You drop your camera, and it fires off a frame, and you look at it, and you're like, this is amazing. You, know? <laughs> you wouldn't have ever gotten to that point if you weren't so frustrated that you weren't beating your head against the wall. So yeah. um, we... You know, there's this uh, there's this idea of rejection, and um, I think that that is the the core a lot of times of of our fear, fear, fear of failure because we don't want to let people down. We don't want um, you know we don't want to let our clients down. We don't want to let our peers down. We we don't want to you know um, uh, go out and try and create world class imagery and come out with uh, snapshots. You know, <laughs> <laughs> right and. And so um, I think a lot of times, for me at least personally, that that led to for a long time me not me playing things safe and me doing the things that I knew were going to work right. without going out on a limb and trying things um, where I might fail. Uh, and I think that's where we stunt our growth. That's where we stop um, uh, improving ourselves as as people um, and you know from a photography bent as photographers. Yeah, and I would say like personally too, even. Aside from the work, it's it's really dangerous to be afraid of failure. I would say um, I've struggled with. I think we both struggled with like 
family balance in running our own business and traveling the amount that we do. We have a five-year-old, um, and by the time Inspire rolls around, we'll have a four-month-old. Yes. Um, <laughs> <Ooh, but>, congratulations. <laughs> thanks. Um, but, you know, the, the safe thing to do is keep your prices the same and shoot as high a vol volume as you can, right? That For us, that was the, the MO for a really long time. Right. And finally, we kind of got the guts to – to risk failing and to take less weddings and to find that balance. And um, it, it kind of did fail for a little while. Things really slowed down and it's scary when that happens and you just figure it out. You kind of find that middle ground and you lean into it and you start to view failure as sort of a waypoint to where you want to go versus an obstacle because it's not. If you're going anywhere, you're going to fail. It's going to happen over and over and over again. And I guess our suggestion to people would be the faster you can get there, the faster you can fail and embrace that. And the more you can fail, the better off you're going to be in the end. Excellent. So that is sort of like the crux of your, your presentation at Inspire Photo Retreats 2015. Um, I want to thank you guys for uh, scheduling this chat. I know it's been a very busy few months for you guys, uh, and I appreciate it. So thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you so much. We appreciate it. it I'll, I'll you see you. I'll see you in, in 2015. I'm really looking forward to it. Awesome. Perfect. Thanks. <laughs> Have a good evening. Bye. Bye. Bye.